Skeptics. The World Skeptics Congress, Paranormal, Supernatural, Fringe Science, Pseudoscience and How It Really Is. Berlin welcomes you. Okay, Simon, you won a prize here at the Sixth World Skeptics Congress. What did you win it for? Um, gosh, that's a good question. <laughs> um, I think it was... Um, I, I suppose the, the thing I've been most involved in the last few years is, is um, a battle I had with chiropractors. Uh, in the UK, um, <clears throat> I'd written a book with uh, Edzard Ernst, a professor of complementary medicine. And uh, after writing the book, uh, which was fairly critical of alternative therapies, um, I wrote an article about chiropractic. And I criticized chiropractors for treating children in particular for asthma and colic and ear infections things for which there's no good evidence at all. And um, the British Chiropractic Association sued me for libel. And so this was a really miserable couple of years. I mean, many skeptics here at this conference have been threatened with libel or sued for libel. And so I think many people here have experienced the um, financial pain and the, and, and the emotional stress. Um, but in the end, it's a, it's a good story or a, a happy ending. Mm -hmm because I won, I defended my case successfully. Two, um, other people began to focus on chiropractic and scrutinize it and, and, and look at the evidence and realize that it doesn't work for many conditions, doctors as well. Um, and, and also, um, there was a, a clamor for reforming English libel law. Uh, because of my case, because of other cases uh, with skeptics, people like Ben Goldacre, uh, Andy Lewis, who writes the Quackometer blog, mm -hmm. had been threatened with libel. Lots of people were being shut down by English libel law. And, and I think people just said enough is enough. It is wrong for the law to be used to silence valid criticism. So a campaign started and, um, and I got the award two days ago. Um, but seven days ago, or um, ten days ago, um, the really great news is that the Queen announced that there would be libel reform in the UK. Um, she has what's called the Queen's Speech, where she reads out the agenda for the next Parliament. Mm -hmm. And in that agenda was a, a new defamation bill. So England will become a, a civilized country again, where yeah. we can have open and fair discussion. We'll no longer be... I mean, it sounds silly. People may yeah. laugh at the idea of, of England doesn't have free speech. Well, with libel, we have horrendous laws, but hopefully for not much longer. Okay, and I've read that um, you are also quite successful, or that the skeptics in England are quite successful um, because the, there is less homeopathy sold now than a few years ago. I think we have a, f have a far way to go in Germany. Yeah, I, I think so. I think I think there's a lot. You know, I, I've been uh, giving talks, writing books, uh, being involved in campaigns. The Merseyside skeptics have been very active. Uh, Edzard Ernst has been very active. Uh, a group of academics wrote letters to um, the, the people who fund homeopathy. Uh, other bloggers and skeptics have been submitting complaints. So there's been a huge amount of, of collaborative effort amongst the skeptic community. Mm -hmm. And I, actually, I remember when James Randi came to London about four or five years ago. He said, um, you know, we fight these battles, but but we don't often win. You know, it's, yeah. it's fun and, and it's important and sometimes it's tragic, yeah. but, but we, we fight these battles, but we don't expect to win. Um, but with homeopathy, I think we're winning. Yeah. I, think, I think the, the, um, the there was a homeopathic hospital. We have five homeopathic hospitals in, in Britain. And I think Glasgow is under threat. Mm -hmm. Liverpool, I think, has closed. Bristol is under threat or is closing. The Kent Homeopathic Hospital has closed. Uh, the London Homeopathic Hospital has renamed itself to the Hospital for Integrative Medicine. So okay. this is a okay. big success. And I think one of the big homeopathic manufacturers recently announced it was going into liquidation. Okay. Uh, but okay. liquidation so, okay. for a homeopath might be a good thing. <laughs> it, uh, may, but uh, but yeah, yeah, exactly, exactly. <laughs> Okay, so what, what could you recommend the um, skeptics in the other European countries? Because we are also, you know, we did also the 1023 yep. uh, action, but what do you think? Just do everything you can all the time, against yeah, stand I up mean, against homeopathy? It, it, you know, 
what I like to do as a skeptic may be different from, from what you like to do because of our personalities and our backgrounds and our expertise. Um, what the problems are here in Germany in terms of pseudoscience may be different from in England. So I think we all, we will all do our own things, but here is an opportunity for everybody to learn. Mm -hmm. So for example, literally just before the interview started, you were telling me about the science slams here in Germany. Mm -hmm. Uh, where scientists, young scientists, get the chance to stand up in front of a large group and talk about their research for 10 minutes. And that's a great experience for them and it's a great experience for everybody else. And I don't know anything like it in the UK. Uh, and yeah. so hopefully we can learn from that and, and ad adapt it and, and take it over there. And, you know, we meet skeptics from France and from Hungary and from Australia and um, we're all innovating new ideas. And so hopefully the good ideas will spread. Thank you very much. My pleasure. Thanks a lot. <laughs> the World Skeptics Congress, Paranormal, Supernatural, Fringe Science, Pseudoscience and How It Really Is. We're skeptically interrogating